What's going on guys? Clutch here once again. Thanks for joining me again for another mod look. Mods for PC today. We got a bunch of new cool stuff over Christmas here. I needed to share it with you. I'm pretty excited about this stuff. So uh, yeah, let's get down to it. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you have not done so already. And guys, we will see you right after the short break. Oh yeah, it's a good day. Let's do this. Clutch simulations. All right, so let's start off with the smallest. Uh, I'd say then work to the biggest, but everything's pretty big after this. The Can-Am uh, 1000 XT, uh, just a little quad. I'm dying to have a quad. I'm dying. I think it's awesome. Now there's two options for this one. There's tuned and untuned. I'm driving the tuned one currently. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've been dying to play around with a quad in farm sim and have it uh, boot around my ranch on whoa It's a little bit sketchy It's a little bit sketchy and a little tweaky uh, First person view is a little funny because you don't see your hands But you know what it's still pretty fun Ah, That's so cool. You know what I haven't done. I haven't seen if we can tow a trailer with it Let's see if we can tow anything with it uh, Let's see that's one thing I was kind of thinking about. Let's just go with nice and small yeah, we'll go with that. Thank you. I don't know if that's going to work because it has a PTO on it. Where is it? I don't know if it will work anyways. Let's see if it connects to it. Oh, they did too. They put a connection point onto it. So you can technically tow something with it. That is awesome. <laughs> well, guys, anyways, I just wanted to show you this thing. We'll take a quick look at the store here just for the uh, for interest sake. Uh, down to cars. And then your Can-Am 1000 XT. So like I said, you've got a stock that has 50 horsepower. Uh, and then next, the uh, tuned one has 75. Max speed says about 120 kilometers per hour. That seems pretty fast for this little quad. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I've been dying to have a quad, like I said, in farm sim. Just to boot around my farm. So you're probably going to be seeing this in some of my Let's Plays very in the very, very near future here. Anyways, let's uh, let's see what else we got. So if you followed the channel at all for a bit, you know that I'm a bit of a truck buff, truck nut, I don't know. Um, in front of us here we have the International Eagle 9400i. Uh, this particular truck, I drive quite a bit in American Truck Sim and in Farming Sim, they've done such a good job with this mod. It looks so authentic. I will be driving this one for sure soon enough. Um, the one thing I'd love about this particular mod is that I said, like I said, it looks authentic. It doesn't look like they've tried to flash it up with a bunch of chrome um, and just made it like a, I don't even know what you want to call it, but just uh, some kind of custom jobby. This looks like an authentic farm truck through and through. Uh, let me just jump inside here. Sounds good. Lights look authentic. They're not the silly blue LEDs you're going to see on some of them uh, that they put on for headlights to give it that kind of blue tinge. Uh, interior, mirrors work. Gauges work, looks authentic. <laughs> I just don't know, but it's just an awesome truck. I love this truck. This is a great semi truck. Steering wheel works as it should. Uh, gas pedal unfortunately doesn't, but let's be honest, how often are you gonna be looking at that? Anyways, cool, very, very cool mod. I am loving this mod. We'll be seeing this truck a lot in the very near future. It just looks so good. Anyways, guys, uh, yeah, we'll be playing with this one right away here. So I'm just gonna back this up over here, connect it here to the, uh, the Flegel. Anyways, let's go see what else we got to uh, to go play with next. All right, so next up we have the Crone Cargo Trailer. It's uh, I don't know they considered an auger trailer. It's not really an auger trailer. Uh, this thing here is for corn harvest, chaff harvest, I guess it would be. Uh, it's very cool looking, and it it behaves differently than pretty much anything else out there right now. Um, yeah, very cool. It's not really an auger wagon, but that's what you're going to find it in. We'll go play with this here in a second. I just wanted to show you guys this quickly. Uh, I'll show you it to you in the mod store as well, or the uh, the purchase area. So it's 53,000. It's a little bit smaller. It's 6,500 or 65,000 liters versus what? 7,000 liters for this massive Hallmaster. So it's not that much smaller. Um, obviously, it's a lot cheaper, <laughs> which is kind of nice, but it's more of a chaser bin, I guess. Uh, the mod should, does it work? Yeah, no, it's not going to show up in here. I'm finding I'm getting this issue with a few of my mods where they don't show up in the store. They only show up on this display. But uh, there's no other options with it. It is what it is. But uh, it looks very cool. <laughs> we'll play with this in a, in a second here. I'll show you how this thing works. So now I know you guys have been seeing this sitting in the background the whole time. The Alexian <laughs> 7, no, 795. 
Um, this is awesome. I love this mod. Now, if you saw me uh, play FS9 or 17 at all, uh, this is one of my favorite Harvester mods. Uh, this is the Monster Edition, the Limited Edition Harvester. <laughs> um, you can see it's got like the monster symbol on the back. I'm not much for the monster stuff, but hey, I know a lot of people that are, and I can respect that. And it just looks awesome. Uh, I love this crawler track. You don't see any other harvesters that I can think of that have this kind of configuration of a crawler track. So it's different there. The color scheme is pretty awesome. This here is a, what is that, 41 foot, I believe? 40 or 41 foot... Um, header on it let's go take it for a spin we'll see if we can fire this thing up so it's not quite as big as our largest uh new holland and case harvesters but i mean it's right up there within a couple of feet uh and it's just cool i think it's just awesome to look at it and so you've got the harvester the header obviously and then the trailer all part of the pack i'll just go pull this up this way here and we'll see if we can go do a little bit of harvesting while we're we've got her out and about yeah, the, the crawler track looks great. Let's take a look on the inside. So you're not going to get any kind of um, any pedal adjustments or anything like that like you do with the stock stuff. You can see I'm hitting the pedal and no changes there. Uh, none of the gauges tend to work. The interior is a little bit bland by comparison, um, but that's okay. I don't go interior view that often anyways. It would be nice to have, but it's not, the, uh, it's not a deal breaker for me. All right, we'll leave this here. Let's go take a little look, yeah. Make it off. Perfect. <laughs> I was worried it was going to get stuck there. All right, so let's unfold. Oh, look at that. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I haven't checked to make sure this field. I'm sure this field's got to be ready to be harvest. And drop this down, and let's go to town. Perfect. So it looks good. Everything does tend to work. Um, ooh, look at that. It's not giving me... There it goes. All right. So the bin, I was worried the bin wasn't going to work there for a second, but it is. And obviously we have the pipe. Uh, let's see, it does the... Uh, we can't change that now that we're moving, can we? Anyways, so very cool. I do love the animations on this particular harvester. Get some lights going here. Ah, uh, <laughs> yes! So the last thing I wanted to show you guys before we go and test out the, uh, the Crone cargo trailer out there is there's a new placeable mod out that kind of fixes the grass issue that I've personally um, been complaining about a little bit lately. So when you do any kind of uh, terraforming, you guys are probably well aware of this, but if you do any kind of sculpting, oh, and I don't own this property, we'll go over here. There we go, I own this. Um, so even smoothing, this grass disappears and then it will not regrow. Um, if you're doing this around your farm, it can look a little bit weird and I really dislike it. Um, so there's been a new mod that's been released. Let's see if I can find it now under decorations. And it's going to give you that option. Now we can go 4x4 patch. And now we can put our grass back the way it was. Somewhat close at least. Now obviously with the hillside it's going to kind of mess with us. Um, now once you have this grass here, you need to go into your garage and delete it. To get rid of the, uh, the markers on where it is. But now you've got grass back again, which is kind of nice. Now, depending on the grass around your farm, this one looks a little bit funky because it's out in the field. But if you had uh, grass out in your um, around your farm area, this would probably look pretty good. And it would give you another way of putting grass back that kind of grows or looks like it's growing at least and not just have the painted on grass. So it's um, I don't think it's, the, it's not solving the problem completely for me yet. But this is a step in the right direction. So anyways, I just wanted to show you guys that mod. Once again, that mod will be in the description. Uh, just make sure you go in and you'll find it all underneath your decorations. And then you'll find a couple different sizes. So if we go through, we have 4x4, 4 8x2, 8x8, and 16x16. And that just changes, obviously, the size of these. So then you'll have to go and find that barrel and delete the barrel. And it'll, give you, uh, it'll take care of everything else for you. Let's see if I go down low enough. Will it help? No, it won't. Yeah, just terraforms for you. Anyways, so I just wanted to show you guys that. Kind of cool. Nice to have. We're getting there slowly. We're getting back to where we want to be. Anyways, let's go take this Crone uh, trailer out. And we'll see how this works. All right, guys. So we got the Crone Big X 1180 here. Uh, you've seen this behemoth, I'm sure. Let's fire it up here and do some corn work. 
Now, the nice thing, the cool thing with this trailer is uh, you need to deploy it first. Oops. Uh, let's see. There we go. We'll get it into its working position. <laughs> it goes up and scoots over, <laughs> which is so cool. There we go. And now we are ready to go to work. we got our harvester on, and she's going to start to load the trailer up. Now, this thing is a bit of a beast. Like, look at the size of that. It's just huge when it's sitting up on top. So you can see why it can fit so much to the shaft now in corn. Um, yeah, that's so cool. So the one thing to note with this, of course, I can hire a worker to uh, go ahead and take care of this stuff for me. However, if you don't set it up properly before you, uh, you give it to the worker, you will not be able to unload automatically into your truck. So obviously I'd like to be able to drive my truck along beside this as we are harvesting. And if you don't have the spout out on the, uh, the cargo trailer itself, you will not be able to drive along and harvest at the same time, which is kind of a, a whole point of it. The worker will not do it for you, so you need to be able to do that. All you have to do is make sure you activate it like I just have there, and now it will. So I'll, uh, you know what, I'll just go straight through here. And I'll get a truck over here so we can demonstrate that. Once we come back. All right, and the nice thing about this, typically you're not gonna have a trailer this size that you can tow um, with this particular uh, harvester. This does make life pretty good. Let's see. Once we get to this corner here, we'll just spin it around. I'll go grab the truck, we'll hire a worker, and I'll show you how the dump mechanism works. I'm sure you can figure it out. It does look pretty good. <laughs> All right, let's just spin this around. Oh, yeah, maybe I'll just drive straight forward then. <laughs> Instead of trying to Mickey Mouse my way around that. All right. Uh, you got to take a worker. There we go. Okay, let's go get that truck. And we'll go dump it in. Look at the size of it out in the field, too. It just looks massive out there. All right. So like I said, you just got to make sure you remember to activate the dump function before you uh, let a worker take control of it. Otherwise, you will not be able to dump. It won't do it. And that's caught me off guard. I thought there was something broken with the mod. Oh, I'm going to wreck some of my corn, but oh well. And look at that. That is so cool. <laughs> I love it. Anyways, guys, uh, that is going to do it for us today with our mod reviews, mod looks. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Once again, if I had, thought it was helpful, make sure you guys hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe as well. We will see you guys next time. I <laughs> hope you have a great day, guys. This is Clutch. Over and out.